All right, here's a DIY support video. I don't really normally do these, but uh, this roll pin here uh, for the shift shaft, yeah, it's a pain to get out, but if you know how to do it, it's really not that bad. I get a lot of cases where it looks like someone took a drill and just hogged around the casting here so that they could grab it with diagonal cutters. That's that's terrible. I mean, these, these cases are old. They're not making them anymore. We gotta preserve them the best we can. So let's do it a better way. Here's two better ways. One is a pair of long, uh, comfortably handled flathead screwdrivers. These are three millimeter. Um, and what you do is you put one on each side and you just kind of pry them out, opposing each other, one on each side like that, like you're biting into it. And you'll have to, you'll have to feel around a little bit. You'll get to a, you'll get to a setup where it's just going to start grabbing. It's usually the edge of the the roll pin where the edge of the, the steel folds around. So this one, you can see it's starting to come up. You just keep going, just keep going. And you get to a point like this where you can just grab it with your fingers. So that's out. That's one way to get it out. The other way, which is a little easier, is with a... Uh, this is a number 52 drill bit that I sharpened the point on. And what you do with this is you tap it into the middle, right in the center of the roll pin. Now, when you first start tapping it, you're going to push the roll pin further down. The, the roll pin can go, can go below this upper surface. Um, so it'll first do that, and then you give it a couple, couple taps to get it in there firmly. Now you take diagonal cutters, you grab the drill bit, and you pry off of the side of the case like this, a little bit at a time, and readjust because you want to pull this as vertically as you can. If you crack this drill bit, you won't be able to get another one in there, and you'll have to go back to the uh, screwdriver method. So this one's, yeah, there we go. Comes right out, no damage to the case. When you do it with the screwdrivers, you do kind of gar the uh, rim of this a little bit. That's one easy way to know that a transmission's been rebuilt. Um, an early sign that it has is when that's got these little teeth marks like this one does for me using the screwdriver. The drill bit won't leave any of those marks. Um, use, uh, oh, make sure you don't use cobalt or anything. If, if it cracks, you know, it's gonna get stuck in there and you won't be able to get another drill bit in. So just use something like uh, as mild as you can. I think that's high speed steel. That's about as hard as you wanna go.